Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in the outer world. So right now, I have transferred to the caves here on Monarch to look for Berthold, so we can talk to some other people. Um, so we can get rid of, or get to Hiram. It's all in the goal to get to Hiram. I just killed a lot of birds. That seemed too deadly. But then again, who am I? Anything this way? It seems like there should be something this way. Got a beak. Matisol. Here we go. You're shooting some artillery at me. Do the same thing back. Oh crap. Mines, mines, mines. I didn't see that last time. But I saw it this time. Oh, there's marauders down here. Oh, yeah. Pretty nice. So, hope you're all having a good day. Um, Alright. Let's see what's in the bin. Heavy grade face mask. Alright, very nice. Just take everything that's in here. There's a resident. There's nothing in that bin. These things could kill me. So, let's not touch them. And... Let's get out of here. Alright. Not bad, not bad. I wish there was a few more things we could use with our money. I mean, yeah, you can always buy supplies and stuff like that, but I wish there was a way you could, like, maybe gamble your money away. Maybe there's a place like that. There should be a place like that. I mean, it's, this game's all about corporations. There should be a place where you can gamble your money away to corporation, right? I think so. But then again, who am I? I'm just Mr. Mocha Lover. Um, I'm also joined here by my cat, Binky, though. Who's sleeping on my chair, and if I touch him, he's going to start meowing at us like normal. Hello? Oh, hello! Marauder Thug. Uh, corporate Commander. Oh, what the mega... It's my mega queen. Uh, just in case, here's a little bit of a juice for me. Very nice. Nice. A kill de manta clean. Oh, plasma weakness. Getting burned too many times has made you susceptible to plasma damage. I received plus 25% more. Of course I'll take that. Now, what can I use next? Range attacks. Eh, plasma damage received goes down by 15%. Area of effect damage received. Melee. Detection damage. Um, revive companions. I like this one. I, I like don't go dine on me. I like confidence. Weapon range, ranged weapon sway is pretty good. Boom headshot last stand. Science damage. Let's go with revive companions. Ah, uh, after killing an enemy, I can use steady hand all the time, and uh, I like that idea. I like that. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, so many things. Can I kill another one? She had so many things on her. Oh, I guess that's it. Hello, Bertold. That assist was a violation of corporate law if I ever saw one. Since it was to my benefit, and we're largely in lawless lands, I'll look the other way. C3 owes you one, stranger. You haven't seen Constance, have you? Ah, there's a torso. That'd be your legs over yonder, never mind. I'm Bertold. What in the void are you thinking, creeping around a mana queen like that? At the time, I was thinking, please don't see me, oh law, I don't want to die, nah, huh. nah, nah. Now I'm thinking it was stupid to come in here. Uh, what are you doing here? Killing marauders and hooligans, as I am handsomely paid to do. Of course, as me and Constance discovered, they ain't the only forms of life inhabiting these caverns. I owe you a debt for saving my neck, stranger, and I mean to pay it. There's a station up the way. It's where my C3s are posted. We can talk more there where it's safe. I'll be on my way once I've gathered up Constance's parts. All right, well, so be it. Meet me at the camp, and try not to get shot on approach. Well, 
I think we, we should be okay. We've already told them that, uh... Yeah... Um... I, I'm, I'm an honorary C3. I could go down there, but I'm not really interested in going down there. I could explore this more, but I'm not really interested in that. Not right now. Maybe someday. Did I, go? I went too far. Excuse me, can I come over, please? Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright. The Mantipillar examined. Ooh. Look at those claws. I hate for someone to open me up like that. Ooh. Dissect me straight up the middle. Ugh. Awesome. I really love this energy weapon. So good. But I did put on this rifle. Alright. Berthold, we're back at camp. Hey, Manic Queen Slayer. Glad you made it in one piece. After all, not everyone's so lucky. Poor Meet Constance. my corporate compliance crew. Then check out our weapons locker inside. I reckon you'll find something you like. Then we call it even between us. Oh, uh, why are you guys guarding this place? We were hired to do so. Why else? You did get the memo that we're mercenaries. Our client's a bit unorthodox, sure. He calls himself the broker and prefers the glow of a terminal to flesh and blood interaction. But I can't fault his work ethic. Our current gig's to stop, by means of lethal force, any creatures exiting the caverns, including but not limited to marauders, iconoclasts, and agents operating for the MSI. Um, I'd call it even if you help me wipe out the marauders at the broadcast station. You drive a hard bargain, Manic Queen Slayer. It don't make much financial sense for C3 to expend resources on any killing beyond the contract stipulations. As the Marauders didn't enter from the caves, the requirements are... Mm, murky. At the same time, we do want to keep our client alive. Until the payment's cleared. So let's do this. We recommended the client safeguard himself, so I don't expect that the main doors will be accessible. Find a way to open them, and we'll clear any hostels on the inside. I'd best radio ahead for Joy and Hudson to prep for us. They'll be at the station entrance, ready with our finest auto mechanicals to assist you. C3s, prepare to move out. Nice. Awesome, awesome. Now I can take this and take everything that they have without thinking I feel bad. Good, 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 good. Oh, wait, I guess I'm sleeping. Whoops, I pressed E a little bit too fast. Man, that was the fastest sleep we've I've ever had. Even more than in real life. God, I wish I could go to sleep that fast and wake up that fast. Oh, man. Uh, let's see. Oh, hello, Bits. You trying to hide from me? No, no, no. Pet pills, and it can do anything at the workbench. Um, oh, this actually is a corrosion flamethrower, but it's not that great. Level 15, yeah, whatever. It's uh, This stuff isn't really that great. Um, can I repair, perhaps? 10 weapon parts? Sure. That's fine with me. Everything else here... Oh, it's condition 0. No wonder it doesn't do that much damage. Um, it does double the damage. Yeah, we must do it. We got 500 weapon parts. Armor? Yeah, we already... Uh, that one could use a little bit more of a boost. Yeah, do it. So you do a lot more um, scavenging. I want to try out this rifle, though. It's only 24 rounds, but we'll see what happens. We, of course, have this one, which should do a lot more damage now. Uh, obviously, our plasma carbine. Pretty good. Ulti the force or ultimatum. There you are. Boss man said you'd be up this way. Fox radioed ahead. Said I'm to follow you. Provide whatever support you need. If those bastards start shooting, we'll join in. Sweet. I gotta warn you, my girl Sunshine here is a tad trigger happy. Of course, me and her will follow your lead. Just wanted you to know we wouldn't begrudge you of any violent inclinations. No need to wait on me after you. Your gun's the trigger happy one, or you are? Ain't it the same, really? I'd say me and my piece meet each other halfway on the issue. She likes to be used, and I like to put her to good use. As so very often as I can. We can tell friend from foe, mind you. But it's probably best not to walk directly in front of us. 
All right. I'm going to take a look around. Whatever you need. Just don't take too long. Idling makes me want to shoot something. All right then, lady. There's a goon. There are a lot of people around here. Not bad, not bad. So far, I kind of like this weapon. I may need a little bit of this. A full frontal assault is always interesting to do. Mm, go ahead and reload. Oh, we got one of the bad boys over here, huh? Oh, never mind, he died. Oh, that's poor body. Who needs this? Uh, zoom in. Give a little bit of uh, a little bit more health. And keep in mind that I just used up one of my bread noodles, and now I'm using tripical pasta pack. Pasta, pasta pack. Don't mind me. I'm just doing what you do in Fortnite, right? You loot before you kill everyone else off, or uh, Apex Legends, or something like that. Nice. Oh. Oh, this is a really nice rifle. I love the plasma carbines and uh, ballistic rifle they, they, they ha that they have in this game. Oh, so nice. At least when it's on full um, repair. Full best condition. Nice. Is that everyone? Wow, Parvati, you got far. Dang, I'm glad I brought you. Where'd uh, Nyoka go? she behind me? Yep, she's behind me. All right, let's go find Hiram. It's taken us ages, like four or five episodes, just to find Hiram. See if there's anything up here. Give me your bodies. I love your bodies so much. I wonder who Hiram looks, who he is, what he looks like. There's a ladder. Sealed. Whee! Oh, okay. We actually have to transition. Ah, oh, look at that. Don't you love the teat of a... Manta Queen. You may not realize this being as you're an outsider. Oh. No leave already. We'll see about that. Nice. So much ammo for this gun. I love it. Ah, oh, I didn't know you had a necklace just on your leg yourself. Beautiful. Good. I love scavenging for everything. Oh, it's a body. Here's the elevator, but ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep moving forward. Look for another oh. way up. A vendor. I must have picked up a few things, right? Sell, sell. Not even gonna look at it. And then sell, sell, sell. Sell, sell. What? What are we made of? Cells. Sell, sell. And another cell. And get rid of all of our junk. Nice. Um, yeah, I don't need that. You just get rid of all of them. Not really focus on melee weapons. Extended sights are okay. Uh, I'm gonna keep that for now. Find another workbench. I'll probably modify my armor. Get rid of one of those bad boys. Ooh, melee and defensive skills. That's pretty good. I'll keep that for now. We were at a workbench earlier. I should have use it for armor, but whatever. Whatever. That's okay. Energy cells. Alright. Can I blow anyone else's head off? No, but I can come into your storage uh, facility. Uh, memorandum. Environmental controls, installation, and keycard. Nice. Good. Stun Baton Ultra. Good. Take everything that isn't nailed down. It's over here. The employee bathroom. And a body. Hello. Anybody calling for an exterminator? You oh. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. 
Why not both? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, he hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purple berry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. I need to see the information broker. No, no, no. We'll deal with information-related business later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. The Marauders want me dead, and since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me... The Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of The Broker being a dumbass alternative. What? Everyone calls me that, aside from you. Alright, um, okay, Broker. See hey, Boomer. Okay. Alright. How many marauders? I don't care. I don't ask how many. I just ask where they are. Oops, and I plus put my uh, wrong finger on the wrong key. Or the right finger on the wrong key. You make it look so easy. Oh, because it is. It's a video game, don't you know, Nyoka? So easy to be amazing in a video game. In real life, it's so much harder to actually be amazing at something. Nothing in there. Take that. Alright. Uh, not much else in here. Let us go to the elevator. Hey, elevators to your right. Yes, yes, yes. Turn around, and these people are going to be right behind me. Spooky. Um, to the right, to the left. Well, can't really go too much to the left. I miss every shot. I should feel bad. But I don't. Nice. Everyone all right. Can I have your body? Thank you. Where is Berthold and his crew is in here now? Alright. Very good. Oh, terminal. Messages. Hmm. No cause for alarm. Everything's under control. Toilets? What in the black hole were you thinking? Theo? Not very interesting. The messages don't seem very interesting. I'm not really reading into them, though, so that's probably why. Uh, anything here? A drink. Ah! <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Sometimes I just have to sneeze. And hopefully not on my cat. Oh. Very nice. Anything in here? Oh, another terminal. Atmosphere controls. Deploy fire suppressing systems in main hall. Remove all oxygen from the chamber. Um... How about no for now? Auto mechanical controls. Huh. I could kill everyone in there. Interesting. Well, how about we don't kill everyone in there for now? I might want to kill them myself, personally. Waste of company huh? Put him down! That's odd. Better take a look. Hello? Sounds like some people are having a good time. Alright. Oh. Oh, well, I guess Bertolt died. Marauder lookout. Well, 
poor unfortunate bird told. The last of them, I think. What a shame. Looks like Addy died as well. That man, these guys made it far, but it's not far enough. Hello. Flamethrower, good stuff, good stuff. Don't worry about me, I'm just taking whatever I can before I even talk to you. I am, I'm just such a hoarder, it's not even funny. I hoard so much. Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but... Seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. And you got me my money's worth out of the C3s. You're I welcome. I ought to have simply dealt with you in the first place. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Oh no, my business is in trade. Not owing others the burden of a favor. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service. Ooh. Record. But I admit, I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. So I could Allow abuse me you. To pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Uh, she needs a favor. Uh, you know why I'm here. Can we continue our conversation? I'm looking for a certain information broker. Ah yes, our little chat on the intercom. You're looking for the premier broker for all of Monarch, which you knew was me, clearly. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. What? I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts, always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. Are you fibbing? Be honest. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. Hmm, and why is that? I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. Luckily, however, the Iconoclasts have now gone silent. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Uh, who was not me? A pity. Seems I have some information on a rogue agent to hunt down. Still, we need to get MSI off the airwaves. I will leave the means to that particular end under your discretion. So we kick them off. Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. Which, of course, has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. Can we get them off from inside the station? No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extraplanetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Sanjar and MSI to stop transmitting on their end. I'll talk some sense into them. Where in Stellar Bay? You do that, I'll be here, waiting on the receiving end. Luck be with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it. Plus a vat of patience. Alright, and Nyoka needs a favor. Oh, great. I love doing pro bono work for friends. Aw, you called us friends. I'd normally entertain your self-aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you may have earned some goodwill during your months laboring for me. She's your friend and she's in need. You're the only one who can help. Tug on my heartstrings, why don't you? Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wattsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to ship, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra too. If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes round one of their spacer's choice outposts. These are the coordinates for the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scram. And, uh, good luck. All right. Sure. You know where to find me if you need me. Oh, hello. Very nice, very interesting. So we got some information. I kind of wish that the Iconoclast and MSI people would just kill each other off. 
That'd be kind of fun. Uh huh. Personal files. Optimistic. Hmm, your miss. Should have known. Very nice. I will get to the perks very soon. Give me them bits. Give me this. Gimme, give gimme. Give great you bet it was great work. I love great work. Very nice, very nice. And let's go to skills. I love the lock picking. I love the hack. Uh, sneak is okay. <laughs> um, do that. And for now, more plasma damage. Heal amount. I love the heal amount as well. Um, corrosion damage and N-ray damage, or 20% chance you repair items will become pristine, increasing value. That sounds really good. Let's do that. Yeah, I like that. All right, let's get to Devil Devil's Peak Relay. Very nice. Spacer's Choice. Love it. Oh, all right. Now we're back outside. And where should we go? So right now, we need to do Radio Free Monarch. Weapons from the Void. Convince Catherine. Well, we could maybe convince Catherine first. Stellar Bay. Sanjar Lilia. Which we'll do eventually. And, oh. So this place... We actually have to go off planet and go back to Edgewater and see what has happened. That's kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and go to... Uh, Catherine and see what she is up to. Back to Fallbrook, and then we'll probably head to the Iconoclast to finish off the, one of the missions for one of the mercenaries. I have to get my XP. I have to. It's like a drug. You know, people in this game like to take drugs. My drug is getting as much XP as possible so I feel really good about myself. Exactly. I'm glad you came to the same conclusion. I don't think I like this, Catherine. How's Clyde? I do hope you gave him my regards. All right, um, I got a proposition for you. Oh, this ought to be good. What does he mean to offer in exchange for his no-account life? Be willing to be your cleaner if you leave the factory to him. True enough. I got bodies piling up, drawing attention where they ought not to be. But if I take the factory, I don't need Clive to dispense of my messes. Can appoint someone to handle it myself. All right. Oh, I could lie. Who better to handle the cleaning, Clyde? The sublight idiots mucking it up now. Point taken. Good nice. help is hard to come by. Plus, Clive doesn't seem the type to upchuck his boards during dismemberment. Still, you're asking me to walk away from easy money. All right, running a factory is hard, tedious work. So are a lot of things in life, and your point is. Clive is offering a cut of the profits of free body disposal every Tuesday, 3 a.m. All right. Color me convinced. Reckon I owe you a finder's fee. Nice. Don't spend it all in one place. Unless it's here. Um. Took care of your little drug running problem. Funny you don't look like Nelson Mason. Funnier still, I wasn't aware of an existing problem. <laughs> You try to cut costs by using sprats instead of autoloaders for transport. That thunderhead. Can't hardly fathom how that panned out. Nice. Let me guess. It involved blood and guts and fur in places that don't merit mention. Well, you got my begrudging gratitude for cleaning the mess. All right. And I'm not going to spend it here. Let's get away from her because she's weird. She's very weird. Um, now let's go back to the iconic class. Since we already should... They already shut down their radio broadcast, which was good. Um, I could use a vendor, but I'm not going to. And unfortunately, I don't like it that you can't just like fast travel out of a town. That'd probably be one of my very minor gripes about the Outer Worlds. I understand why you can't do it, but it would be nice if you traveled from like Fallbrook to... I don't know, the Iconoclast immediately or something like that. Look at everything we can get rid of. Yeah, let's get rid of a lot of this stuff. Can I... No, I have to, Oh, crap. I have to manually do this. Uh, yeah, do that. Level 21. 
24 plasma. Yeah. As great as that is, whatever. I'm not even going to check it. No real need to. Not interested in swapping weapons. Um, that's okay. 20 armor for damage to creatures plus 20%. That's an interesting helmet. That's not bad. I might sell that, actually. This one is 40. I already have 32 armor. Oh, more block, but less stealth skills. Yeah, let's do that. Thank you. Oh, and actually we wanted a fast travel. To the Iconoclasts in Amber Heights. Bost Verst. It's not the Verst unless it's Bost Verst. Let's go ahead and talk to him. You come to Monarch and that's what you're excited about. You want to get out more. I like that when Parvati's wearing a mask, she actually sounds different. It's kind of nice. Yoka, how have you been? Better, worse, I don't know, you know? Yep. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. How do you get those scars? Buy yourself a drink. I can't repay no kindnesses now. Alright, so. I reckon one of the most interesting places I've been is the hot pole. You know what that is? I can make a guess. Exactly. This moon ain't big enough to rotate. It's locked. One side always facing Olympus, the other always facing away. Olympus might not be a star, but it throws off ass loads of heat. Monarch's hot pole is the part that's closest to the gas giant. It's in the middle of this big mountain plateau. Volcanoes so high the peaks are in space. How'd you survive? O2 breathers. The heat from Olympus is worse, though. Close your eyes, you can see rays bursting through your eyeballs. Little streaks of light. The funny thing is, then in the middle there's just smooth rock. Circular light. All the dust blown away. Pale gray with hair fine cracks all over. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was lightheaded from the O2. I felt like I had to take off the breather for a moment, put my ear to the ground. It's hot enough to boil water and you put your ear against a rock? I did get a burn on the low before I smartened up. Put a towel under me. It was at the edge of here, deep down, far off, irregular. Tap, 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 tap. The sound of a bird pecking out of a shell. It, was that SOS? I think that might have been SOS. When there's a ground quake now, I hold my breath. Because I don't know if it's Olympus squeezing us for gravity, or wings getting stretched. Hmm. I found Lamont's body. You know, a tiny part, a damn stupid part of me, hoped he was still out there. What happened? They bought themselves a ticket off world, but they were attacked while waiting for it. Damn. Well, you find our box of memories? Yep. Found a list of agents in the outpost. You aren't on it. Here you go. Well, shit. Thanks for finding it, at least. Don't gotta wonder anymore. Funny thing, I found a list of agents in that outpost. You you ain't on it. <laughs> well, ain't you clever? Fine. I was supposed to pick him up that night. Thing is, another offer came along. Bit more lucrative. You abandon them? I get it. Tell you the truth, I'd probably do the same. Then you're smarter than the average rat. Next round's on me. A token of my deepest gratitude for solving a decade-long mystery. Now go on. Even old man to his past. Um, alright, I'll be going. If you got in your mind that I want company, you're wrong. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. Um, uh, you know what? I thought there was something else we could do for him. I guess not. Uh, let's go to Sanjar. That would be very important to talk to Sanjar now. Actually, there's a workbench here, I think. We. Your workbench. It's a vendor machine. Wasn't there. Yeah, I want to sell that. As well as all junk. There you go. There's a workbench, but there's probably a workbench to Sanjar as well. 
Did I have to talk to the Iconoclasts? Let's take a quick look. No. Oh, I certainly talked to that woman. Lilia, Sanjar. Search the outposts. Yeah. Cool. Uh, let's talk. Actually, a family matter. There you go. Uh, actually, no, that would probably be best. Go to the south portion. The Dissident Hunter. Two bits, number 306. First edition. Monthly, monthly subscriptions like 20 bits. And into Stella Bay. Beautiful. So I didn't, I'm looking at the bottom, when your inhaler finishes a stack of consumables, it'll automatically re reload the next one. Ah, Tucker. Oh, Captain, you did it. My little boy is back safe and sound. Tell the Captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Isn't that right? Uh, sounds a grown man's time you started treating him like one. What a sour thing to say. My little boy will always need me. I'm his mama, you know. Mama, what I need is for you to listen to what I want for once. But that's between us. Now you promised the captain a reward, so settle up. Then you and me are gonna have a long talk. Here, kind stranger. Oh, thank you. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. But it's more than worth it to have my Tuck Tuck home safe again. Good luck. All right, let's talk to Sanjar. And Celia. I wonder if she's been on her date yet. You should know, you're getting Excellent reviews from across the company. What can I do for you? All right. Found your review on a terminal in the arms building. You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. <laughs> Sorry, I was already open. Oh, yes. No doubt someone else was having a laugh at my expense before you. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work my youth, my left kidney, and for years, it was a joke to them. Your left kidney? Ugh, one of the executives required a transplant. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. Did it? Apparently not. You're in charge now. In charge of a scrap heap of a city. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. And you've made it work. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Or was there something else? Um, here's a Bolt 52. Or I need MSI to stop broadcasting. You're just as rigid as the old executive committee. Why, we've hardly been able to get a clear message out until recently. When Graham finally shut up. It isn't easy keeping a town like Stellar Bay afloat, especially without the board's backing. We need that frequency to reach our trading partners. There must be another way for you to do business, then. Indeed. That's why it's imperative that MSI be reinstated onto the board. And the first step is getting the Bolt 52. All right, here you go. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. Nice. How's it going to help? What a question! Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. Nice. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Kaboom. So the board will finally get their comeuppance. Sort of. Really, we're just going to blackmail them into offering us a seat at the table. But really, whatever gets you excited about the idea? It's 
Definitely a firm middle finger. I can get behind that. Just promise me that once I helped you with this, MSI will stop its broadcasts. Help us with this final matter, and we won't need to broadcast anymore. You have my word. Uh oh. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Really? Legally and in secret. Those bastards. Leave us to our perils, then come back just to reap what they can. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. Oh, you sly dog. You really think so? I admit I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just needed someone capable to help me carry it out. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. I know how to make people talk. Oh, I imagine you do. But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? You people? <laughs> I, I thought it was the same thing. Watch it with you people. Once you uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. Alright, I'm on it. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. Alright, you're looking for a corporate presence. I met some mercenaries affiliated with C3. I'm sorry, who? Ah, them. They're hardly a corporation. More like a jumped-up band of thugs with certain pretensions. Well, they're dead the now. The I'm hoping for would implicate one of the board powers. Anti-Cleo, Spacer's Choice, UDL, someone of that caliber. Not that we don't appreciate your diligence. All right, catch you later. Now, before we end the episode, I definitely want to go back to Catherine and see what this is all about. I doubt I can go to Catherine from here right now. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, some locations you can't fast travel, but from Cellar Bay, you can fast travel to Fallbrook. Okay. Okay. I like it. Uh, there should be a workbench out here, too. We can soup up some things, too. Um, bum, ba, dum, bum, bum. Workbench, where are you? Hey, Workbench, Not where nice. are you? And we're back. Judging from the blood spatter on your shirt, I take it you visited my favorite cleaner? All the time. Let's talk about something else. Sure. Sanjar said you knew something about a corporation operated in secret a monarch. Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsomely. Um, come on, that's all you know? I thought we were friends. We are friends, but them who push me end up dead. Look, I don't know if this is related, but it ain't escaped my notice that one of my regulars been lingering a little too long at the gambling bar. A gambling bar? She's been acting twitchy, even for her. Ask at the bar about a customer who shows up bi-weekly. My staff may know more. All right. If this works out well, I'll spend that 7,000 bits you gave me a little bit earlier. Oh, it's right here. Ah, we're back to Wesley. Wexley. Wesley. Please make yourself at home. A VIP such as yourself is always welcome at the ante up. What's your order? No order, I need information. Let me think back. Yeah, I got a regular who's been twitchier than normal lately. Every time she bets, she loses big. Then she pounds a mountain of daiquiris upstairs. You ought to ask Yvonne. She'd know Ms. Twitchy better than me. Awesome, thanks. Now where's that? Upstairs. Stairs. I have legs for now. Folks I never met before are my most favorite kind. So, what's your story? Uh, I'm looking for somebody. Well, it does ring a bell. I remember one lady. She never penned a name in the book. Her friend Huxley placed the collateral for her. Huh. Huxley's with the iconoclasts. Know of her? She's not quite all there. 
Two drinks here? <laughs> it does give her trouble from time to time. Once she got stuck in the bathroom, had to break a window to get out. Anywho, she's probably in Amber Heights with the rest of Graham's iconoclast okay. folks. All right, well, thank you. Well, that's all the time that we have for today, guys. Um, tomorrow, we... I've said this a few times. We might be able to finish off Monarch tomorrow, maybe? But we'll see what happens, of course, when tomorrow comes. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below. And I will see you all tomorrow, and I hope you have a great, great day.